The castle is on the very edge of a terrible precipice. A stone falling from the window would fall a thousand feet without touching anything. As far as the eye can reach is a sea of green treetops, with occasionally a deep rift where there is a chasm. How would you hamsters like to visit Dracula's castle? Yeah! Yes, yes! Well, I've heard that hamsters can be transported by Google Earth to any place in the world. Really? No kidding? Yeah, let's try it. I'll bring up Google Earth and type in Dracula's Castle. Then I will click on search. Okay guys, jump right in. Oh, I'm really glad I thought to bring my iPhone along. I'll just type in Dracula's Castle. It says here that this castle is commonly known outside Transylvania as Dracula's Castle and is marketed as the home of the title character in Bram Stoker's Dracula. However, there is no evidence that Stoker knew anything about this castle. Vlad the Impaler military ruler of Wallachia, 1428 to 1477 or thereabout. It is thought to be the inspiration for Dracula, but there is no evidence that Vlad ever resided in Bran. Oh shucks! All is not lost, Hammy. This place has great old stuff, like suits of armor and weapons, and for an extra charge we can see the medieval torture instrument exhibition. Really? Hanny, behind me is a well that, according to legend, leads to a maze of underground passages. I'm not going to jump down that well. Me neither. So let's take the self-guided tour. What a cool castle. Yes, and to think it was built in the 15th century. Let's find a way to get inside. Hammy, you wait here, and I will go up and investigate, okay? All right, come on up. that Stoker was an Irish author who is celebrated for his 1897 Gothic horror novel, Dracula, which was his magnum opus. Magnus Opum? His magnum opus. That means his greatest work. Many Dracula movies have been made over the years, but my favorite is the 1931 thriller starring Bela Lugosi. I am Dracula. It is believed that Vlad III was known by the nickname Vlad the Impaler. It was a Wallachian prince who fought the Ottoman Empire and was known to torture people and impale his enemies on spikes. Vlad never lived in Bran Castle, but instead resided in Ponaria Castle in Wachia. Where are we going next? We're going to the Exhibition of Medieval Torture.
Kami. This is a shan flota or shame flute used to publicly shame bad musicians and other disturbers of the peace. They would shackle the heavy iron flute to the musician's neck and parade them around town so the public would throw rotten food at them. Hey, look at that chair, Hammy. Wow, that's not exactly a lazy boy. This is called the Iron Lady. It has spikes inside. Wow, they found a lot of cruel and scary ways to get even with their enemies. Oh yeah, this really gives me the creeps. Let's go to the next exhibit. We can't see from here. Let's jump up there. Cool view of the courtyard. Yes, and you can see the well. Let's jump down and continue our tour. Let's see what's in this room. Look at all the medieval weapons and shields. Look over there, Hammy. Suits of armor. Awesome! Wow! of arms and the period costumes. Awesome! Look, Hammy, a historical timeline of the castle. In 1211, Teutonic Knights erected a fortress in Braun, a Slavonic name meaning gate. They were driven away in 1226. <laughs> in the late 14th century, the castle was built on a cliff where it served the role for, of customs and the role of a fortress in order to stop the expansion of the Ottoman Empire. In the mid-15th century, the Turks raided the area, but the Prince of Transylvania defeated them. Throughout the years, the castle had many masters, and over time the castle was damaged, often by sieges, but also negligence and the forces of nature. In 1623, the castle underwent major construction during the reign of Gabriel Bethlen, when the Gates Tower, the Round Tower, and the Donjon were all renovated. After 1918, Transylvania became part of Greater Romania, and the castle was given to Queen Marie of Romania, wife of Ferdinand I, King of Romania. The castle became a favorite residence of the queen who retired and used it as home residence of the royal family. Marie, having grown up in England, turned the surrounding grounds into an English park with two ponds and a tea house. The castle today owns its popularity to the myth created around Bran Stoker's fictitious character, Dracula. But Braun is really the showcase of Queen Marie's collection of furniture and art. Well, let's go see it. After World War II, the castle was transformed into a museum by the communist authorities. Since the fall of the Soviet Union, the castle was reopened as a museum and later, in 2009, ownership was transferred to the heirs of the Habsburgs. Where are we going next? To the bedroom of King Ferdinand I of Romania, husband of Queen Marie. Awesome! What is in the display case? Let's jump up and find out. Wowee! 
It's a crown and a ceremonial scepter. It belonged to the paternal grandfather of the present owner of the castle, Archduke Dominic Habsburg Lothringen. That's what I call a king bed. Hey, no one is around. I'm going to check out the bed. This is the main dining room. This must be the great chamber. There is a library, reading nook, and piano as well as easy chairs. Let's check this out. When she took possession of the castle, Queen Marie ordered renovations. Workers discovered a secret tunnel in the wall connecting the first and third floors. The escape stairway was so cleverly concealed behind a fake fireplace that for generations nobody knew about its existence. leads to a really nice sitting room. This is Queen Marie's bedchamber. Look! A large outdoor deck. What a view, huh? It is time we think about getting back to our fair city, Bellingham. Before it gets too late, let's go and see the surrounding grounds. Whee! Come on, Slowpoke. You're quite the ham, Hammy. This is the tea house that Queen Marie had built. So this is one of the ponds that Queen Marie had constructed. Hey buddy, it's time for us to get back home. You bet, it's getting kind of spooky around here. Siri, open Google Earth. I'll type in destination Bellingham, Washington. Here I go, me too. Hey, how was your trip, guys? Fantastic, but I've got news for you. It really isn't Dracula's castle. Really? 